Hey, welcome back. This is Paul again coming at you from Japan. Now, I found this in a box next to my futon because that's what we sleep on over here, futons on the tatami. So I had this box and I thought, what the hell is in this big box? It's been there for years. Open it up. Here it was. Shikin Harimitsu Daikon Myo. And I said, wow, I gotta show this with my, uh, my friends. This is all my friends out there, my martial arts friends, my yoga friends, uh, whatever. You're all my friends. Uh, Wherever you are, you're all welcome. Join us here. Uh, so, anyways, those of you in the Bujinkan will recognize this. Shikin Harumitsu Daikomyo. I wrote this in 2009. I think I even displayed it at the Daikomyo Sai of 2009. So, we say it every time before we start the training. What does it mean? That's a really good question. And um, I just wanted to share with you what Sensei told us about 15 years ago. Now, I know he's told a lot of people many different things what it means. And it's all good. Um, so if you have uh, a story about what Sensei told you it meant, please share it with us all. But I'm going to tell you kind of how he explained it to us and how I've heard him explain it once or twice since then. Chikin Hamitsu Dai Komyo Sai. Versus going through each character and then trying to explain what each character means. You all can do that. We've got Wikipedia. We've got Google to Sensei. You can all do that. Find out, you know, that what? This rhyme, sound, you know, wave, cloth, whatever, nectar, you know, big light, brightness, okay. But, but what what is it what does it mean, you know, okay, and then we can all figure this out from here, you know, the middle ones, paramita, right? Comes from Sanskrit, sort of a Buddhist kind of teaching, right? You know, this is also related to our then you can you know, kind of follow it back, follow the stream back to the to what becomes our gojo, right? Uh, I think Doug Wilson had a a picture on his uh, page about the Gojo. If he doesn't, I'll put one up eventually. So, you know, we have a lot of different um, Gokui or inner secrets. They're not really secrets, but uh, we have these kind of teachings, the inner teachings, right? And they're all really connected, right? And I think Shikihamu Sadai Komyo is all about connection as well. But let me get back to how Sensei explained it, and then uh, you make up your own mind what you think. So, anyways, one time, I think it was about 15 years ago, um, we were training somewhere, I don't remember what dojo it was, and Sensei said, hey, let's talk about Shikin Hamid's Daikomyo, you know, once in a while it's good to have this kind of conversation. So I was like, yeah, bring it on, you know. And uh, so, like I said, versus a, a description by description uh, of the characters, you know, let's talk about making kind of the feeling. He said, he said that Shikin Hamid's Daikomyo was that man is a part of nature and lives within nature okay and that problems occur when we believe that we are outside of nature that we are maybe controlling nature or in opposition to nature maybe okay so he didn't say too much and I think that's probably the best way to to talk about some of these uh, deeper teachings to allow the student to uh, you know, kind of glean, kind of harvest the meaning through their training, through their years of training. Um, so, that was really an important, that's really uh, a profound statement, and I'll say it again, that man lives, he is a part of nature and lives within nature. He is not separate from nature. And problems occur when we believe that we are separate from nature, or as they say in uh, Japanese Shizen. So there's so much to these teachings that I don't want to really uh, go too deep into it right now. I mean, we can get really deep, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'll let you go there on yourself. That's probably the better way to do it. And the other part of this was about uh, sort of sound, light, and creation maybe, is that they have the negative and the positive or the yin and the yo or the yin and the yang and that these two when they come together boom there's a sound uh, the shikin maybe and flashing light the uh, daikomyo of I'll leave it there of okay so these are the kind of two things he talked about and, and just talked said the same things several times man is part of nature not and lives within nature, not separate from there, and that there are the two poles, when they come together, there's that sound, and there's flashing, a lightness, and maybe there's creation. I, you know, I'm going to leave it up to you for that. But anyways, Shikin Harimitsu Daikomyo, 
uh, it's all connected. All our gokui are connected. And when you start to uh, understand this, not from here, but from here, right, uh, then you're going to start to really open up and understand a lot of what these gokui mean. Because when he first said that to me, I was like, what the hell does that mean? You know, part of nature, not separate from thereof. You know, it was only through many, many years of training where I'm able to start to sort of reap the, uh, the fruits of, of my training and to start to uh, gain a, a better appreciation uh, for some of our gokui, right? Um, you might recognize the second character, right? This uh, uh, kin or shikin, shikin harimitsu, right? This is the, the same character for uh, this year's theme, Shingin Budo, okay? Which is, I like to sort of translate it as uh, the martial the martial arts, the martial artist being led by uh, divine resonance, right? Maybe you want to get into your Gaposa, oh, you know, whatever you want to, you know, however this resonates with you, right? Resonance, right? Something that's moving you. I'm getting off track. This is this year's theme. Maybe I'll, I'll stop there. Maybe I'll make a uh, short video about this year's theme. Because uh, it has the same character um, and it also relates to some other Gokui. So maybe I'll get, go there with you some other time. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, wish y'all luck. Uh, hope this helps you out. Uh, I wrote it nine years ago, so looking at it now, it's not so bad, huh? I hope you like it. I know the the ha, which is wave here, is kind of big, so it's more like shikin ha, and it's that komio. But uh, it's all right, you know. At that time, maybe the waves in my mind were were too big and crazy. Um, anyways, have a good one. <laughs>